Welcome to my channel. I'm Patricia Stewart of Patricia Stewart Originals. So I've been toying around with an idea, um, trying to use up a lot of the gel prints that I have already and trying to make um, <clears throat> art from the fin finished pieces. And so I took some gel prints that I had, cut them in circles, and then with my gyro cutter, I cut out small circles by uh, using my pad, my um, cutting pad, uh, healable cutting pad, and I cut circles into the circles that I originally cut. <clears throat> My idea was to try to create some dimension uh, with the circles. So these circles were cut a little larger and these were cut smaller underneath. And so my idea was to <clears throat> See if I can get the right position on them. That's the funny thing. I cut them when they were on top of each other. So now it's, here we go. You can see it better without the pad. <clears throat> and so I wanted to create dimension. You can see the top color the color underneath and then I was going to come in and add another color underneath of that. <clears throat> so I played around with this piece that was more like a rectangular piece but I wanted to get the nice, some of the nice color that was going on. So something like that. And so you can see three layers of color. <clears throat> and then I said, well, it's kind of flat. And I like to give a, a lift to it. So I took my sticky dots. And once I had this position where I can see the colors that I needed through it. I would take the sticky dots. I have to put something heavy on this. Hold it. And I use two of the dots, I started with the top and middle layer on top of each other to give it a, a lift. And I kept going around to just place the dot. place another on top anywhere where I wanted to give it a lift and it pretty much looks like that and this way you get that opening that space where it's like a three-dimensional look I could have added three dots <clears throat> to sit on top of each other, but I felt two was all uh, that I needed. And it's pretty quick <clears throat> and easy to do, just wherever you want. 
that lift. All these sticky dots. Definitely, I don't want it to show through. They definitely come in handy. So there, from the first to the second, you can see like a three-dimensional look. But it's lifted up, it's not flat. And so the same thing has to be done here for the bottom. So I go in again, two dots stacked on each other, anywhere where I want it to lift. Doesn't matter that my third layer isn't um, a round circle, but it was large enough to give me of the design that I wanted underneath those circles. So it's pretty quick and easy to do. Now I got these sticky dots on Amazon, <clears throat> came in two or three different sizes, there were quite a bit of them in the pack, which is good. Oops, that one came a little too close. Okay. One more set here. Okay, so there we get a bit of a lift from the third layer. And you can keep adding more dots as you feel necessary for that three-dimensional <clears throat> look that you're going for. Okay, that's a little better. So even on the third layer here, it kind of lifts up a bit from the bottom layer. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what I was going for in getting um, some three-dimensional perspective. And so I had done one already earlier in the same way and using my white Sharpie and my Posca pen I wanted to bring the circle out a little bit more, so I lightly went around the circle. And these pieces that were cut out from the smaller circles, I used those as well with the 
two layer sticky dots underneath. <clears throat> and then I took my block uh, with a paintbrush, took some Payne's Gray, and just gave it a couple of stamps. So here we have the other one. Underneath this, there's also two layers holding it, two layers of sticky dots that are that's holding it to the background. And so I will go in <clears throat> again here. easier to just stick it on the back. And it adds something different to um, the artwork. Normally I'm working with uh, collage work which is just flat and you um, It gets stuck on, you know, glued on with the matte medium and it's flat, flat layers. But I, I wanted to sort of experiment with having some kind of dimension. And so I placed that there. And so this is what we have, if you can really get a good look at that in the dimension. And <clears throat> what this would look like if it was matted and framed. And so I have a frame here just as an, an example. You can get a look at Things always look better matted and framed. And <clears throat> this is relatively inexpensive frame. I think I got a pack of seven at Amazon, very affordable. Okay, so here's my matting has some paint on it but <clears throat> here's an idea of what this piece with dimension uh, would look like hopefully the glass the mylar in the frame isn't causing too much glare but you can really see the nice 3d look inside what a nice presentation and gift this would actually make or to hang on your own wall. So the other thing I probably will do now is to go over two layers with my Posca pen but I just wanted you to see what it looks like the 3D in a frame and just the beauty of it something that's a very simple 
uh, project to do. Very simple. Oscar pen I think I will use the blue Posca pen just add a little something on the second circle to make it stand out a little the print of the second layer has some blue in it, this turquoise Posca pen makes it sit out just a little bit more. And I'll use the white. I did the opposite of what I did on the red one. Just going around the edge. Just to highlight the circle, it adds something to it, along with the three-dimensional look. Now this can be done with squares. I just chose to do circles. But you can take a square, you can do an oval shape. It's up to you. I think I would like to try my hand at a square. And see what that looks like in 3D. Okay. And so here we have it. So that brings out the dimensions pretty nicely. And so I'm satisfied with this experiment. <clears throat> I think I, I had it in my mind, on my brain <laughs> for a few weeks and I had to just sort of think my way through it as to what would be the approach to making it possible. So you could take those gel prints that you have and start cutting out shapes and getting layers of a look. Um, start using them and creating uh, different things by cutting circles in them or using a hole puncher to punch holes in them and have two and three layers underneath uh, revealing the other colors that are underneath. Um, it's fun to do and it doesn't take that long. Um, it's a different creative approach to my frameable art and uh, I like to frame my work at the end, uh, mat it and put it in a frame. Um, it looks like a nice art piece and gel prints certainly work very well with that. Thanks for hanging out with me today. <laughs>